my quest to produce a purple snake, we unexpectedly hatch this purplish looking animal, which is of a mystery gene. Will we ever get to the bottom of what this mystery gene is? Today, we're gonna try to find out. Another exciting clutch, one of the most exciting clutches that I had for the entire year happens to be the mama to what we call the mystery ball python. Look at her, she is absolutely crazy. And she laid her eggs all over the place. We gotta get these eggs out of here. Look at these beautiful pearly whites. She was bred to a mystery male. So this should really be the clutch that starts to tell us what the heck is a mystery ball python. Let's go ahead and pull all these eggs out. Looks like mama's done, but she didn't coil around them or anything. So I'm gonna have to definitely candle these eggs. Let's see what's going on again. Yeah, look at how beautiful mama is right there. That is just, oh, she was around one egg right there. Look at that. But look at how incredible she is. Again, no idea what the genetics are behind this animal. Later in the vlog, we're gonna actually cut the clutch. So you're gonna find out with me at the end of vlog. So make sure you guys stick around. Two, four, six, seven beautiful eggs. Let's get them over to the incubator. I always say that there's so many anticipated clutches of the year. This may be the most anticipated mystery to mystery. It's the only mystery ball python male I bred to anything but a normal. So this clutch, who knows what's gonna be inside. No clue what's gonna happen, but it's definitely exciting. Day 57, you guys are gonna find out what mystery to mystery ball pythons actually look to like. To explain the origins of the mystery animal, it was actually this pinstripe here, the mom to the clutch. Now, it was just a normal pinstripe that wasn't bred to anything too traumatic. So it's kind of surprising that something hatched out. Again, a normal pinstripe and the dad was this black pewter here, which is a pastel and a black pastel. Nothing too crazy. So what I should have got is lemon blast, pastel, black pastel, pinstripe, and then combinations thereof. But interestingly enough, this female was actually produced in that clutch. And I thought that doesn't make sense. Now it could be a pastel, a black pastel, a pinstripe for sure, but typically you wouldn't have this lack of pattern. Now we have a little bit of striping on this animal too, which is a little bit unusual too. Something you wouldn't see. So I ended up raising this female up, breeding her, thinking what could possibly happen. But before I even bred her for the first time, the female produced this actually the following year, which again is even a more interesting animal because it looked like there was probably black pastel in that adult female. This looks like there's not black pastel. But why is it yellow with no pattern? Again, it should just be a pinstripe and maybe a pastel, which would be a lemon black, which would have all kinds of patterns. But in the meantime, I produced this weird yellowy looking snake. So the mystery just continued to get further and further. Then the first year that I actually bred the mystery female, I produced some really unusual animals. There was like seven eggs in a clutch, seven babies hatch, and all seven babies were radically different this looking. This was one of them, which again, looks like it has black pastel, looks like it has pastel, and it definitely has some pinstripe. But it doesn't look like a normal animal by any stretch. Then we had this male that I bred this year from that same clutch that actually is like a lemon blast. It has these really wide, almost like jaguar -y type look to it. Again, something was really interesting as a baby raised it up just continues to add to this mystery that continues to grow on the ground oh, right i'm not staying over here come on over come on over no, I'm not can you guys can you give me some box with a lid a paper towel give me That's whatever smart. just in case it gets paper away from me and towel. i have to like do something no no <laughs> not a fly swatter <laughs> ready. So unfortunately, our big Goliath bird eating transfer passed away. When it came in, it actually wasn't doing well from the beginning. So Jay did me a favor and actually bought me even a larger bird eater. We're about to see if this one's a little bit more mellow. The last one was super fast. Oh, this is a big tub. That's a big right, ready? Big. Ready? No, no, we're not ready. Oh, it's so hairy. It's so hairy. Right. It's so big. Look how big those legs are. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't let it out. Don't let it out. Mike, hold this. This is by far the dumbest. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's so cool. It's so mellow. And then the last male that I used to breed this year was actually this animal here again. Should just be a lemon blast. A pastel and a pinstripe. This certainly isn't a normal lemon blast by a long shot. I'm not even sure what's going on with this animal. It was really interesting to see all the variety that hatched out in the clutch. Again, the most mysterious thing that I've done ever in my breeding life. And for guess sure. what? It's time to cut that clutch of eggs. And now back to the mystery eggs that are hatching. Again, this animal here is just a solid lavender type of snake. You know, purple. You guys know I love purple snakes. This is definitely a lavenderish type snake. This one here has a little bit of pattern to it. Again, a silverish lavender snake with a little bit of pattern. And then this one is basically like a gray snake with quite a bit of pattern. Now, interestingly enough, we still have a few eggs that we can cut and see what's inside of it. But this is not the result I was expecting at all. Don't know what the heck is going on. Neither of the parents were purple. Neither of the parents were this color. I don't know what's going on with this mystery gene. We have two animals that are poking its head out. One animal that has slit the egg and one egg that hasn't even cut. So let's go ahead and cut these eggs and figure out what in the world is going on. I have a feeling this mystery is just getting deeper and deeper. I thought I was going to solve it this year and in actuality it's getting more bizarre. So let's see what's inside this egg right here. Again, the head is already out so I can just basically cut right like this. No problem and see what's inside here. Again, what do we have? A solid 
purplish snake here, guys. What, what in the in world, world is going, is going on? on? No guys. pattern on that one at all. Just like this animal here that has a little bit of an actual paradoxing on it. Pretty interesting. But I have never hatched out a solid snake like that. What is, what is, what is this gene? I don't know. This one was also pipped out. So we can cut this one, see what's inside here. And now, like I said, I mean, I am love I wish I knew what was going on because the problem with this type of situation is that I can't even really sell them. Now this is a purple snake, but look at it, it's got the striping on it. So it's got some striping, it almost looks like a super stripe type of thing, but purple, purple super stripe. I don't know why. And again, these snakes popped out of just normal breedings. I mean, there was nothing fancy. This isn't like a five or six gene animal that I know of. Should actually be only a two, maybe three gene animal at best. And it's just crazy to see what's going on. So let's go ahead. We can see the first snake in here. I can see its head's pipping out right now. That doesn't look normal. Maybe this will start to tell us something. Let's see what's inside this egg. And then maybe this will give us an insight into what's going on. Not really. I mean, it looks really kind of like a really pretty pastel ball python, which is interesting. Again, I, I don't even know what's going on. This is the last egg here. It's not even pipped. Oh, I take that back. There is a slice in this egg right now, but I don't know what the animal is in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and just see if we can start to figure out anything any clues for me it would be absolutely amazing but again what do we have a solid purple snake with a little bit of striping on it so what is going on here we definitely have a brand new gene that has never been produced before we just don't know exactly what that gene is why it's reacting to animals like this wiping out patterns causing purplish snakes i don't know what's going on but they are absolutely stunning animals i am so excited about this this may take me another four or five years now remember we've done mystery to normals this was mystery to mystery so i don't know what's going on i'm going to let these guys hatch out you guys are going to see them here in a little bit after they hatch out we'll let them shed out you'll see them after they're shed as well wow this clutch blew my blew mind my not mind. at all knowing what's going on so let me know in the comments what you guys think might be going on and i'll let you guys see these animals when they hatch out here just in a minute so again wild combinations even more so again this was another animal from the mystery as well a lot like the last one that i showed you that's just kind of all yellow with hardly any pattern and then for this clutch they actually have purplish snakes with no pattern it's really wild i don't have any clue what's going on we're getting animals from silver to purple to solid yellow all kinds of stuff this mystery continues to go on and all i can do is i know that it's linked back at least one female. And while those babies are hatching out, which should be out in the next day or two, I want to show you one last animal that is again similar, but a little bit different that we hatched out from the mystery line. This one doesn't seem to have any freckling at all. Still has a very interesting head pattern to but it. But again, what is going on? Definitely some sort of gene hidden in that pinstripe. And I think that I have to just somehow figure it out. Hopefully when this clutch hatches out and some of the mysteries to normals hatch out this year, I'll have a better take on it. And eventually we can isolate that gene and find out and repeat the actual process every single time. So we know what's going on rather than hatching stuff going I have no idea what's up. Then if you didn't see yesterday's video we actually hatched these animals out right here and this was actually a normal Red to a mystery male and every single animal in the clutch 10 eggs in the clutch every single animal hatched out pinstripe the odds of that happening are very very slim so is there a chance that the mystery could be like some sort of super form of pinstripe or is there something else going on well, we definitely seen some animals in here that have a lot more freckling and interesting pattern I mean this is an absolute ripper and certainly doesn't look like a normal pinstripe and there's a bunch of them in here are just very unusual. So we're starting to unlock it, but the thing that I think is really interesting is the fact that every single animal is a pinstripe, including the mystery clutch that we cut today. Every single animal in there was a pinstripe too. There so is something strange going on. Now what are we gonna do? I have no idea. How are we gonna get it? Grab it with your hand. Yeah, there you Ooh. go. Put your hand right in front Wait, of it. Just, it. Just, just let it walk right on you. Let it walk on you. I'm afraid. Don't. Yeah, don't let it walk on you. Don't be. Don't be. Dad, afraid. you got it. Wait, Dad. it's coming this way. Dad, Dad. Get it in your Slow. hand. He's so chill. You press. Go. I can't do it. I gotta get it. Dad. Oh my. The pad of health. This is good. It's <laughs> mellow. It's mellow compared to the last one. Do you want to let it go? Oh yeah, let yeah. me get it going. Let me get it going. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? You can't run. Dad, oh, oh, man. Oh. Dad, no. <laughs> Give me the guy. Ah. Actually, I take back what I just said because there was this one animal that turned out that was not a pinstripe from the clutch, but they're all hatched out now. This is something that I would have expected to produce. This is what kind of looks like a black pastel, pastel, and a pinstripe. So it's basically what they call a pewter blast. So that's kind of similar. It's a little bit different. But then look at this. One, two, three, four, five purplish silvery snakes. No idea what there's going on. Like I said, I had been producing yellow snakes that were patternless. Now I'm producing purpley silver 
horse snakes that are patternless with just a little bit of striping on. Some of them, a little dorsal striping here, a little dorsal striping and here. And then some that literally have no pattern whatsoever, except on just on their head. Very interesting to see what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these guys set up today and show you these guys after they shed up. Just to see if there's any different thing going on there. Wow, I tell you what, this is absolutely incredible. Every single year that goes by, the mystery deepens. But nevertheless, isn't it amazing that I'm on a quest to produce a purple snake? And then just out of nowhere by accident, I produce a bunch of really cool lavender purple snakes. My legacy in ball pythons really started with pinstripes back in the late 90s when I first produced them. And really that started my explosion into the ball python world. Wouldn't it be amazing that 20 something years later from the exact same gene that maybe there's a new legacy starting with a new mystery gene that I'm trying to figure out. Again, it may take me another couple years to nail this down, but there's no it's doubt. It's a very intriguing and interesting gene. And I can't wait till these babies shit out so we can see what they look like. Oh! <laughs> Put the lid on it. Put the lid on it. Okay, get the lid on it. Put the lid. <laughs> wow, that went awesome. Now, oh Mike. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? I'm sweating so bad. Mike. No. Put it away. No. How are we? I can't open it that. In there? It's not a chance I open that. I'm out of breath. I need a nap. Okay, let's go put it away. Come on, guys. Come on. Look guys. how big it is. It is literally his head is sitting in the top. I love this spider. I tell you what, I think before long, we're going to be holding this spider. The other one was so mean. This one is actually pretty mellow. Don't open it right open there. The what the Let me see where it is. Okay, hang on. Let's open it from the back. Why? Why? It's never out. It's so Polish. Here, That's not how this goes. Ooh. I tell you, professional. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise. I think I peed a little.